last night was the wildest night I've ever had in a long time. Honestly, all I remember was going to a New Year's Eve party and drinking my guts out. The next day, I woke up to some stranger's house. However, it looked as if it was abandoned. I had no recollection of what happened that night before, so it was a shock to hear what I had done from my friends. My phone rang in my pocket. My head hurt like crazy, as if my brain was on its deathbed. I checked my phone. I checked my phone. Beth, it said. Hello? I answered. Ten seconds later. Dude, do you even know what you did last night? She asked me. Would you like to remind me? I asked. You fucked up big time, and it cut off. My phone died on me because I left it on the entire night. Where was I? I asked myself. Their footsteps approached. I heard them as clear as day. Hello? I yelled. Maybe not the best idea, but whatever. I was hungover. This girl, about 11 to 13 years old, comes up the stairs crying. I looked at her confused and asked her where her parents were, but she wouldn't even look at me. I got myself together and walked around the house looking for people, but all I got was nothing. I went back into the room I awoke to, and she was there staring directly at me with a glare. I asked her where her parents are and she just screamed at me. I covered my ears and ran downstairs. I had no charger for my phone. No phone in this house, and no idea what my friend meant. What to do, what to do. I wanted to just run away and leave this girl here, hoping that she could find her way back. But I can't just leave her here, with no one around. That's too dangerous. Then it hit me. There should be some payphone nearby, so I started looking for some spare change. Just enough for two calls. But who to call? I wanted to know what I did that was so bad my friend had to call me about, but I also had to call the cops. But what if I did something illegal? Fuck. Should I call my parents and tell them about the situation? What about my ex? I left the house and went in search for a payphone, but couldn't find any. I started running back towards the house not knowing what to do when I saw the kid running out. I yelled at her to stop, but she just kept running. Maybe she didn't know who I was. I chased after her and brought her back to the house. She started sobbing and I asked her politely how she got here. She then looked at me with these eyes. These eyes which just looked as if she wanted to strangle me. Then she told me. You kidnapped me here, don't you remember? I was shocked. I didn't know how to respond. I knew I had to call my friend and clear things up. I asked the kid for her name, but she wouldn't tell me. I asked her if she had a phone, but she just shook her head. Then I asked if she knew how to get home. She looked at me like, are you kidding? And I asked her again, and she nodded. She nodded. I told her, okay, if I let you go, will you not tell the police or your parents? Hesitantly, she nodded yes. Thank God, I said to myself. I let her out the door and left myself. I took one last look at her as she ran the other way. While walking, I saw a pizza place. I went inside and asked them if I could use the phone. They said okay and I quickly dialed my friend's number. Because we're BFFs, I knew her number by heart. I called and waited for an answer. After dialing three times, she finally picked up. Hello, who is this? Beth asked. Talk to me, Beth. Be honest, what the hell happened yesterday? Oh my god, Gina? She asked. Yeah, it's me. Please, tell me what the fuck happened. Okay, okay. 
So you know how you were drunk out of your mind and talking to me about your ex that you just broke up with? Well, I had enough to drink, I dragged you out of there. You kept talking to me as if I was your ex. And bitch, I was ready to slap you awake. But then you saw this girl down the street, following her parents a couple feet away. You looked at me and said, You wouldn't have broken up with me if we had a child. And I told you to stop thinking about him. And that better not do something stupid. But you ran across the street and grabbed that girl by the arms and legs and dragged her down an alleyway. I chased after you but you kept running while the girl cried for her life. You ran, turned around the street and barged into a torn down house. I chased after you and told you that you were fucked but you started talking to that girl like she was your child. I quietly listened while everything was being spilled out to me. I didn't recall any of this at all. Sweat fell down my body and my entire body heated up like a volcano. Beth paused and asked me if I was okay, but I was speechless after knowing this. A couple seconds later she continued, You are one crazy ass bitch, you know? You held her by your chest and started calling her Mary. I told you this shit is illegal and I want no part of this and that I was leaving. You didn't even look at me or answer me so I just left. I don't know what happened after. I started laughing. Oh fuck. What have I done? This girl probably told her parents by now and the cops are probably doing a search for me. So I hung up and called the cops. I told them everything and here I am, awaiting trial.